Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching. Chances are many of you out there own iconic revolvers such as this old Smith & Wesson. Well, in addition to regular maintenance, sometimes regardless of how well you try to take care of it, something goes just a little bit awry. Now first of all, safety check. There's absolutely nothing inside of that cylinder. A common problem that I see is, especially if you're shooting 38 Special or like snake shot, which is like, you know, little bitty shotgun shells that are chambered for this, what can happen is you'll get some lead buildup down toward the end of the cylinder that will resist every effort of yours to clean. Now, how normally you're going to run into this, and these are snap caps by the way, I'll put a couple of them in here is you will notice when you go to insert your rounds into that cylinder that one or two of them will not quite sit. They'll ride just a little bit high like that which will in turn prevent you from then closing the cylinder in the revolver. Now the best way to get to it take out your gunsmithing tools so let's get at it and I'll show you an easy way of doing that. On a Smith & Wesson revolver, in order to get out what we call the crane, we have to remove this screw. This screw is on the right hand side of the firearm and it is just above the trigger assembly. Now the key to this is A, use the right type of screwdriver. You do not want a screwdriver that's got a bit that's too wide and you want to make sure that it's a screwdriver for gunsmith because you do not want to mar this particular screw. So we will go ahead and remove the screw and there is something a little bit special about this screw. As you can see it's kind of smooth right down here where there's no threads. So we're going to set that over to the side. At this point I'm going to turn the gun around, going to disengage it, and boom, there you go. It's out. And if you notice, I can remove this. What happens is the screw actually sits down inside of this channel that holds the crane. At this point I'll take a little bit of solvent dipped rag, clean this really well, make sure that I don't feel any burrs on anything because once you have this apart it's really really a good idea to do that. And then I will chase down inside of here with one of my cotton tip swabs and as you can see getting all kinds of junk out of there and we want to make sure that we get that taken care of. Now I'm going to lay this aside and now comes the mystery of the cylinder itself. Now we can focus our attention on the cylinder. On the Smith & Wesson as you can see how this ejector works, we have this guy right here. Now I'm going to rotate this in a clockwise manner in order to get it to come apart. And there is a spring. So as you can see, I've got a couple of springs here going to carefully remove them and then that will allow this to drop out and now you have complete access to cleaning that cylinder and getting any debris out of there. Once you've cleaned everything to your satisfaction I'm going to reassemble the cylinder there's two locking pins here and two holes that exist in that extractor and I'm just simply going to line them up 
and get this guy back where he belongs. That fits flush. We're good to go. And now we're going to reverse the disassembly process. I'm going to put this spring in and follow it up with this guy here. And now I'm going to begin turning it counterclockwise. Just using finger pressure, get it nice and tight. Check and verify my operation. And then this can go right back onto the cradle. Like so. We can put it back inside of the handgun. Get it to lock up in there. Once it is locked up, I'm going to take this screw. I'm going to start the threads by hand just because there's no reason to cross thread this whatsoever. Come back with my screwdriver. And we're done. That wasn't too hard, was it? So even you can do this. You can do more than what you thought you could, right? That's how you can take care of these things. Just do a little bit of plain old-fashioned gunsmithing and you can get this guy to run just like it was new again. So I hope this helps and until next time, everybody have a great one and be safe out there.